have done much better as far as production. And, and, and that's not necessarily indicative of a flaw at the course. It just implies that there's not an abundance of the kind of flowers that I'm after. Um, and, and that happens. Uh, uh, I have had a variety of sites that have proven to be poor as far as um, uh, productive for the uh, uh, honey, just simply because it was in an area that wasn't heavy with the flowers. But that, that as I say, that's not necessarily indicative of a chemical problem, more just the, 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 the environment itself. Uh, the, the forage. Uh, right, exactly. The feed, the flowers that they would forage on. Right. Now this colony I want to look at closely. There's a move afoot in West Virginia to produce locally bred queens. Um, uh, queens. Queens in general come out of the south. Georgia is one of the larger producers of, of queens. And the problem with the, the queens out of Georgia is that they can bear a, a heavy influence of the Africanized bees. They tend to be a more aggressive. You may want to step away from the front of that hive. Um, if you want to, wherever you, that's better. Um, they tend to tend to uh, carry traits of the Africanized bees that tend to be much more aggressive. And so there's a move afoot to, to breed queens out of West Virginia that are used to our climate, used to our winters, the harder winters, and don't bear that, that Africanized influence, and hopefully are a hardier strain of bees. So we introduced the West Virginia queen uh, in this colony about uh, uh, six weeks ago, and I haven't had a chance to get into it to see what she's doing so that's that's one of the reasons for today to kind of evaluate this hive so what i'm going to do is open it up i'm going to take a, a frame off the edge again just to give me some room to work typically that most of the activity of the hive is in in the middle frames the um, outside frames there's not much going on so when i look at that frame that's just drawn comb i see no honey i see no uh, uh eggs no larva no no uh activity like that and I really don't expect to see that off of the sides but as we get into the middle now what I'm looking for number one is, is cat or capped eggs and on this one I see capped eggs if you look closely uh, yeah. you see them all right yeah. now what yeah. we're looking for is the queen and she'll have a white dot on her and if we're really 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 lucky here today we'll get a look at our young lady and see how Hopefully she's healthy and happy and the, the thing that I'm looking for at this time of the year is that she's laying eggs, that there's production to build up the strength of the colony. More eggs. Again, no honey, but more eggs. Yeah, that one there looks to be a little bit bigger, but well, they're, they're drones. They're drones. Oh, okay. Uh, the the the. Uh, now, typically, the, the, what would be the ratio of, of the, the, a? All right, 95 percent of the colony are queens, female, are, are uh, worker uh, bees, the females. Uh -huh. Five percent of the drones, and about, uh, and there's only one queen. So they're, they're, I would expect to see some drones, but not a lot of drones produced at this time of year because they're not interested in swarming, they're not interested in producing new queens, so they really don't need the drones. They're more interested in just producing workers to build up stores for the winter. Uh -huh. In fact, as the winter approaches late in the fall, they'll actually push the, the, the remaining drones out of the colony for the winter, Well, the drones really don't contribute to the production of the, of the uh, uh, colony. The drone, here's a drone. See the bigger one? Oh yeah. That's a male, yeah. that's a drone. There's another one there. You see the difference? Yeah, there's definitely a difference in the size of them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it'll pick up on the uh, the video, mm -hmm. but uh, but again, egg production, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm happy to see that. And and uh, I really don't have to find a queen now. I, I, if you notice here, these cells are, tend to be kind of flat. These cells are raised up. They're domed over. These are are drone cells. These oh. these are uh, worker cells. Okay. So you see a difference. There's a few drone cells here, mm -hmm. but but by a large majority, the uh, cells being produced are for the workers. Okay, so still a little queen that, that jumps out at me. But as I say, even if I don't see the queen, the fact that I have eggs, eggs you, we know she's tells there. me that she's in there. I and there her. she is. There's right our there. girl right there. I see, I see her. Right there is the queen. Yeah, uh, yeah. She's picking up pretty good on the video. That is wonderful. There's our queen. That is really neat. Now that's just a dot of paint, huh? Yeah, and the white dot, the cha dot changes every year. The white dot indicates a, a 2011 queen. So this is a new queen. This is a West Virginia queen. She was just bred out uh, in uh, May, and uh, 
there she is. So a fairly good colony. Um, some egg production, They're building up numbers. Now what I'd like to see is that the, uh, they, they continue building up in numbers and then start to uh, lay away uh, adequate, adequate stores of uh, honey to get them through the winter. And um, in that this is a new, new colony, in that the stores are, are, are small, or in, in the absence of the stores, I'll not try to take any, any uh, honey off of this colony. We're just going to leave them build up for the winter. And then if uh, they're strong next year and they get through the winter well and are strong, then next year we'll talk about taking honey off of it. Okay? So I'm just going to put a little bit of smoke on them just to kind of calm them. Smoke down here. Just to calm them. And then we'll put the uh, second high body on. And this is where the, hopefully they'll draw the... the uh, honey out. And so this colony is in good shape. We're just going to leave it go for a few weeks. And if they're not really in the middle of August, then we'll think about moving them to a bit more productive site and uh, see what we can do. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now the third colony are my delinquents. And they are not the friendly girls. So what we're going to do is Take that reducer off, and you may, this is going to get intense, you may want to step back. Um, I have to, I'm going to have to break it clear down to get this stuff off the bottom. Okay, and uh, so this was a, uh, a wild uh, caught this, hive? This, this was a swarm, or... and uh, let me open the top up, and just to give you an idea what a hev heavily populated uh, colony looks like. But in that they're aggressive, as I say, you may want to step back. This is, this is not going to be pretty. They're going to start bubbling out of that like the place is on fire. And I'm just going to real quick grab my super here. In that this colony is so heavily populated, if I don't give them more room, they'll swarm. They'll create a new queen and swarm to, to reduce the, the congestion in the colony. And so that's why I put a super on just to give them more room to work. Now this is... When you say super, that's just that's the, the, the extra these, these, these level. These are the high bodies. The, the, these two boxes are where they live, the high bodies. Um, then uh, the super would be where they would draw out honey that I can take off. If these two are adequately filled with honey, then that will get them through the winter. If it's adequately, adequately filled, then I'll let them spill over with an excess honey, and I'll take that for, for human consumption. If these aren't filled with honey, then I wouldn't put that on. I, I would let force them to fill this up to ensure that they get through the winter. The, the challenge is to balance it. You want to take as, you want to leave enough honey on to get them through the winter, but yet if you're into honey production, you want to have excess honey that you can use for consumption. And I like to go into the winter with about 90 pounds of honey on each hive. And so what I do is just come along and, and lift and, and ah, that's moderately full. It's not heavily full, but, but at this time of the summer, I wouldn't expect it to see full. By, by the middle of fall, that ought to be pretty heavy to try to lift. Mm -hmm. Okay? So before they get all stirred up, I'm going to do the deed here. And as I say, this is going to get intense. You may want to step back. See how they go through the paper.